Well, gemstones and crystals are fascinating to a lot of people, but have you seen a rock that glows? The largest collection of fluorescent minerals in the U.S. exists right here in the upstate at Clemson's Bob Campbell Museum. These rather ordinary looking mineral specimens are about to become anything but ordinary. This is the largest collection of fluorescent minerals uh, anywhere in the southeast that we're aware of. Um, so people can come here to the museum for free and uh, enjoy this exhibit. A lot of these minerals that uh, glow in the dark are really common minerals uh, like calcite. Uh, if you've ever not cleaned your bathtub enough and gotten a ring around the bottom of your bathtub, that is essentially the mineral calcite. Sometimes when calcite crystallizes, uh, very tiny impurities sort of get caught up in the crystal structure. Things like just, a, just an atom of lead or an atom of manganese. When ultraviolet lights shine on these rocks, those little impurities of iron and manganese sort of jump around. And that causes both the glow that we see uh, and also actually produces heat. And that's why the lights in this uh, fluorescent mineral room are on a timer. Because if the lights were left on all the time, many of these rocks would be hot enough at the end of the day to fry an egg on. There's a lot of ooing and aahing, uh, with, especially with small children uh, in this room. Uh, I, I think the din of their uh, excitement sort of drowns out the educational uh, voiceover that plays. Many of the specimens you see here came from an abandoned iron mine in Franklin, New Jersey. We have many repeat visitors, uh, moms that bring their kids to the museum almost weekly. Um, so I've, I've actually watched some kids grow up in the museum. And uh, I, I think some of them may know their displays even better than I do. Admission to the museum is free and people are welcome to come and check these things out for themselves. And that museum is located on the Clemson University campus. It's open every day except for university holidays. Admission is free, but a $3 donation is suggested to help maintain the facility.